What's up people, it's Team Dub the 7th and I am finally back to my roots. I'm finally back to talking about my favorite game out right now, that is Destiny. Because they have given me some new and exciting news to speak about. So, over the past, I guess, week, Destiny has come out with, uh, some pretty good, pretty interesting, I won't necessarily say good news. First and foremost, we will talk about the expansion that is coming out this year in 2016, but after that we will be talking about Destiny 2 and the new writer Christopher Schlurf that has been added to the Bungie group. But let's get into this expansion because this is what I care about because it's the thing that's coming up closest. So, those of you diehard Destiny fans know that there is an expansion called Comet that was set to come out in 2016. And I believe that that's what this expansion is. But what interests me is that it's supposed to be, and I quote, the biggest Destiny expansion to come out. Now, the Taken King was a pretty big expansion. It was even bigger than the actual vanilla Destiny game that we got in 2014. So if this new expansion coming out in 2016 is bigger than the Taken King, let me just remind you of some of the things that Taken King brought us. It brought us new raids, it brought us new game modes, it brought us new maps, it brought us new exotics, it brought us new weapons, it brought us new armors, it brought us new subclasses. I don't know if I said that already, but it brought us new subclasses. Think of the things that expansion could bring us. Now, I went on a Destiny strike, I guess you could say, and I stopped playing the game for a while because Bungie, I just felt like they weren't listening to us. They were adding new things to the game, but the new things didn't have anything to do with what we were complaining about. We didn't want new dances, we didn't want to be able to do the Carlton after we killed somebody, we wanted more content, we wanted custom games, we wanted rank play, we wanted better connection. Hopefully that's what this new expansion will bring to us, it will bring to us custom games, maybe rank play, and hopefully they figure out how to make the connection better by the time this new expansion comes out. But imagine everything else it could give us, hopefully we get more Cabal story importance, hopefully the Cabal is more important, because the strikes that we've gotten... With the Cabal we've gotten, I think there are three strikes only. We don't have a Cabal raid. We only have three strikes. We have the Shield Brothers, we have Violas to Arc, and we have Scion Flares. We don't have anything else for their Cabal. Everything else has either had it either has a raid or it's had a expansion to its name. The Hive have two raids and they have an expansion set for them. The Fallen has its own expansion and they have the House of Judgment and uh the Vex, the first raid was for the Vex. Like the Vanilla Destiny, that whole thing was leading up to fighting Atheon or leading up to fighting the heart of the uh whatever that heart thing was. So hopefully we get some new Cabal gameplay because if you paid attention in the story missions, I'd say that the general, I believe, of the Cabal army was coming in order to get some revenge on the Taken, I believe, for destroying their moon base. So I'm very interested to see what this general guy has in store for us. Also, Destiny 2 has been, I guess you could say, confirmed for 2017. Now, I'm kind of upset with that because I was hoping that it would just be expansions on Destiny 1 and we wouldn't have any sequels for the game. This means that we might just have to spend even more money on Destiny. But hopefully, what Bungie does is they do something where you're like, if you own Destiny and if you trade it in for, or own Destiny 1, you get a $30 discount if you trade it in for Destiny 2 or something like that. That way, we don't have to get shafted in prices again, hopefully. But right now, Destiny 2 is just an idea. There's not much information that we know about Destiny 2. I don't even have an idea of what could be in store for us in Destiny 2. I just hope it's a good game. That's all I hope. Uh, I feel like Destiny 2 is going to be Destiny's big introduction. It's grand opening for the world of esports. That's what I am hoping for because I think that Destiny esports would be something that is very exciting and I think it would be able to rival the likes of CSGO, Call of Duty, and League of Legends in terms of esports popularity. That's just what I think. I don't know. And the reason I say this is this. Oh, 25 million players have played Destiny for 3 billion hours. That's a lot of players that played a lot of time for a non-free to play game. Imagine the attention that Destiny would get if it had professional players that people could watch on Twitch, had professional games that people could watch on Twitch. It would be pretty damn big. And next, the news that I couldn't care less about. Destiny hires Christopher Schlurf, the story writer 
for Mass Effect Andromeda. Not Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3. Mass Effect Andromeda, a game that's not even out yet. And people are saying that Bungie is finally starting to take the Destiny story seriously. I would say that Bungie is finally starting to listen to its fans and make a mass change in how they go about this story. But they always took their story seriously. Like, they've tried things to make their story more popular. You can't say they didn't take their story seriously. The thing about this that makes me not really care, though, is that this guy doesn't have much of a great resume. I mean, he's worked on Mass Effect Andromeda games. Game. We don't even know if that story is good or not. And then he's worked on Halo 4. Halo 4 didn't have the best story mode in the world. It didn't have it. It, it was bad. Halo 4 story didn't make any sense. It was worst story out of all the hits. Maybe he'll have some good ideas on how to move the game forward. But if you look on his resume, it's not impressive. He has two games. One game that hasn't even come out yet. Halo 4, a game that wasn't that good. And he has a movie that I didn't even know existed until I looked at the games that he's written for. Not impressive, not impressive. But I will buy Destiny 2 and I will hope that it is an all-around better game than its prequel, or who knows. I would love to hear your comments and guys, see what you think about the topics that we're talking about in this video. Hopefully you guys like the video. Let's aim for about, let's aim for two likes in the whole video. That shouldn't be that hard to hit. And please subscribe to the channel. This is King Dub the Seven, and I am leaving to make my next video about Halo 5 because I have some very interesting things to say about that. I see where you get Halo 5 people at. Peace.